Hi everyone, it's Helen Hota here, founder of FormHelp, and we are on the smarttraveller.gov.au website, and we'll be doing a smart traveller advice update for the following countries. We'll start from here. We have Sri Lanka, Seychelles, Madagascar, Costa Rica, Mauritius, and we'll conclude with Cuba. So we'll go back to Sri Lanka. Now, as you can see here, this was updated on the 18th of July and is still current as at today being the 20th of July and it reads, an island wide public emergency has been declared and curfews may be imposed at short notice. Now demonstrations are occurring throughout Colombo and several violent incidents have taken place during large demonstrations. Avoid areas impacted by demonstrations and carry relevant travel and ID documents with you at all times. Follow the advice of local authorities and monitor the media for updates. And we continue to advise you reconsider your need to travel to Sri Lanka due to the security situation. And the Australian government has authorised the voluntary departure of dependents of Australian High Commission staff in Colombo. Public demonstrations continue to occur throughout Sri Lanka and demonstrations can lead to disruptions to traffic and public transport. Now, Sri Lanka is experiencing a shortage of fuel, cooking gas and medicines, and you may experience disruption to fuel supply and planned power outages. Now, the Australian government does advise reconsider your need to travel to Sri Lanka due to the security situation. Now, again, the advice levels reconsider your need to travel to Sri Lanka. Now, if you scroll down below, there is more information there for you to read. And that is the latest travel advice update from the Australian government for Sri Lanka. Next, we'll go to Seychelles. Okay, so this was updated on the 18th of July and it's still current as at today. And it reads, we've lowered the travel advice for the Seychelles. We now advise you exercise normal safety precautions. Okay, so again, the advice levels exercise normal safety precautions. And if you scroll down below, there is more information there for you to read. And that is the latest travel advice updates from the Australian government for Seychelles. Okay, next we'll go to Madagascar. Now, this was updated on the 18th of July and it's still current as at today being the 20th. And it reads, we've lowered the travel advice level for Madagascar. We now advise you exercise a high degree of caution. Again, advice levels exercise a higher degree of caution in Madagascar. And if you scroll down below, there is more information there for you to read. And that is the latest travel advice update from the Australian government for Madagascar. Next, we'll go to Costa Rica. So Costa Rica, um, this was updated on the 18th of July and it's still current as at today being the 20th of July. And it reads, we've lowered the travel advice level for Costa Rica. We now advise you exercise a high degree of caution. And again, the advice levels exercise a high degree of caution. And if you scroll down below, there is more information there for you to read. And that is the latest travel advice updates from the Australian government for Costa Rica. Next, we'll go to Mauritius. Now, this was updated on the 18th of July and it's still current as at today being the 20th of July. And it read, we've lowered the travel advice level for Mauritius. We now advise you exercise normal safety precautions. Okay, again, the advice levels, normal safety precautions. And if you scroll down below, there is more information there for you to read. And that is the latest travel advice update from the Australian government for Mauritius. And lastly, we'll go to Cuba. Now, this is again updated on the 18th of July and it's still current as at today being the 20th. And it reads, we've lowered the travel advice level for Cuba. We now advise you exercise a high degree of caution. Okay, so again, advice levels exercise a high degree of caution in Cuba overall. And if you scroll down below, there is more information there for you to read. And that is the latest travel updates from the Australian government for Cuba. And that concludes our um, travel advice update for today. Thanks for listening. You have a great day. Keep safe wherever you are in the world. Bye.